<clears throat> Excuse the flashing lights of ambiance. And with vaping because of ambiance. <laughs> so tonight guys, oh sorry, hello spooklets. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight is ghost stories. I have got a ghost story and um, I don't know if this lady wants me to say her name. I can't remember so we're going to choose to leave it anonymous because uh, just yeah, <laughs> just in case, just in case. Um, also, after I've told this story, I do have something that I want to talk about. Anish doesn't know it, but you do. I do, yes. And I haven't actually told many people because I don't want people to think I'm crazy. You are anyway. Yeah, I know. I'm crazy anyway. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. obviously this channel is it's to document experiences. Mm -hmm. And I need to document the experience. So I'm not writing it down, we do it in video. For you, for you, you can hear it too. That's that's the whole point if you want to join our journey. Speaking of which, I don't recognise your face. You're new. You. You there. You. Is it that one or that one? Uh, that one. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I don't recognise either of them. No. Hit subscribe, come on, come join us. See, we're going to jump straight in with this story. Are you ready, guys? Get yourself comfortable. Make sure you've got a cuppa. To be fair, you can pause it. No, I'll wait. One. That's enough. Yeah. Should have bought a flask. Yeah, flask. <laughs> This is the lovely lady's story. That's what we're gonna call it, because she is lovely. The name's Lovely Lady. A few years ago, my eldest daughter and I went on a paranormal investigation in one of our old haunted buildings here in our town. Being psychic mediums, we tend to see things. Oh. Our first was a lady sitting on the end of a bed, shaking her head at us. My daughter said, Mum, did you see that as well? Yep, I surely did. Next, I was patiently waiting in a doorway because there were lots of people on this investigation. We were asked to wait till this first lot walked past us down the corridor. Someone tapped me quite firmly on the shoulder as if to say, move please. No one was standing near me. At the end of the night, we were all sitting in the lounge area talking with the lady who had organised the investigation when my daughter stood up really quickly, grabbed her bag and said to everybody, we have to go. A lady spirit had screamed in her face, leave, same lady we had seen on the bed, question mark. Another time, my youngest daughter and I were in a car with a friend driving. We, were bo we both screamed out, stop, at the same time. We had both seen a woman step onto the crosswalk and start walking in front of our car. The driver didn't see her, but stopped abruptly at our screams. There was no one there. Oh, and then she proceeds to say, seriously guys, I have lots of stories, but that is it for this time. You tease. Mm. <laughs> Send more. So yeah, it is really weird. I find it really weird that they've both seen, both of them at the same time screamed in the car and saw something together. So they knew that they each other wasn't seeing something. They were both seeing the same thing. Mm. Does that make sense? I think what more than one person seeing something sort of like reiterates that what they saw was real. It's the same thing like when we the, hear something. It's been it? like both me and Anne saying we saw the boy walking into the bathroom. <gasps> oh, yeah. So you saw it, I saw it. We both saw it at the same time. So it's sort of like, A, it makes you feel like, oh, actually, maybe I did see that. Yeah. And the other thing is, is both of us saw it. It's sort of you back up me, I back up you sort of thing. Is it something you can switch off? Because these guys are mediums, right? Mm. Both mother and daughter. Can can you switch off from it? I mean, we're not. We're open to it, and we believe that we can feel and sense things. And recently, I found out that I smelled something. You'll hear about it in an upcoming video. I'm really excited about it, and I'm really proud of myself. I didn't know any history of this building. Well, I was just thinking, like their mother and daughter, mm -hmm. like I presume it's a bit like eye colour and stuff. It runs in families. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably a bad yeah. analogy. No, but, but I know what you're getting. At. Like, yeah, no, it does. Yeah, it does. It, the gift gets passed down. Right. And it's quite so. It's quite cool to hear from somebody who's not. It's not just them. It's like passed down to the kids as well. It's it's just cool. It is a cool thing to pass down, isn't it? A cool gene. It's a cool yeah. gene to pass down. Is it genetic? Yeah. <coughs> I think if you're open enough and your kids well, are open enough. That's what I was going to say. I think anyway, have you, like we've spoke before, like the, the longer we've done this, the more we've sensed, the more we've heard, the more we've seen. 
maybe the allowing ourselves spiral. to be open. Yes. Not meaning we're psychic, but yeah, no, yeah. Would you, I think you can get a feel of maybe an energy. Definitely energy. Yeah. Anybody can sense. Negativity. What we you can. Well, they reckon you can walk into a room, don't you? And the whole room would be full of a hundred people. You can sense whether it's a happy. Yeah, energy, well, you think, or a sad energy say, or a negative energy. Say if I don't know, me and Lisa had an argument, right? Mm. But you didn't know we'd had an argument, and mm. you walked in, you'd know we'd had an argument. You'd sense that. Yeah, you, first time you just walked into that room. Yeah, you would. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah, it's a bit weird, one, isn't it? Yeah. And they both saw the lady on the bed. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Again, I mean. As a medium, you're used to seeing things. So you know what you're seeing. You know when it's, no, I haven't seen that, or yes, I've definitely seen something. Do you know what I mean? Because they're used yeah, to it. Yeah, but how do they differentiate between knowing what's real and what's not? Like, she said about, about the tap on the shoulder. Yeah. Well, that was real enough to make her think, oh, sorry, I need to get out of the way. Yeah, no one was there. So, no one was there. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, what the lady on the end of the bed? How how do they know that it's not a real person? Do I'm just saying. Do they look different? Do they look do different? They, as in, like, are they? Yeah, I mean, I don't. I was this really, is something. I sound really naive, but no, I don't really yeah, know anything not, much about. We don't it. look in. We've not looked into this. No. We've no. not looked into psychic abilities and you know medium. We no, haven't looked really, into it. So no, yeah, really the, the question is. That. Do they look like or sat here now? Or, or is it just a feeling and you vision it in your own mind? Yeah. But then the tap on the shoulder is not a vision, is it? No. Well, maybe, but then there's maybe this lovely lady as well. will watch yes. this and Well, this lovely lady, and stuff. she'll definitely watch it, won't you, darling? And she will probably message. Yeah. And okay. go into a bit further for us. Which would be, it would be interesting. We'd yeah. love it if you would, please. And send more stories because they're amazing. We love hearing other people's stories. And if any of you guys have got any stories, especially you new ones, you're still there. I can see you. Send a story. Send a story if you've got one. You can be anonymous. Just say, I want to stay anonymous. And we will not say your name. We promise. But yeah, please send some more stories in. And yeah, tell us a bit more about medium. We don't really so know. I know. I mean, they say as well, there's, di there's differences. I don't know if it's mediums or not quite sure. Like I say, we, we don't know much about this. I'm just talking about what I kind of know. Some can see things. Some can see things in their minds. Some can talk by touch. Some can smell. Yeah. Yeah. And if they want to do yeah. writing as well, then the the writing you want. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've wanted to try that. I don't know if I've been. You're supposed to just relax. Yeah. Don't let think the pen. Let the pen go. Do what it wants to do. Yeah. We want to. I don't. Can anyone? We've do said it? about like people being sensitive to things, haven't we? I think we are in all different ways. I think you are. I don't think I am so much. Well, I think me and you are more than that. I'm yeah. just here living my best life. And just, <laughs> and just the bodyguard. Just here. You, yeah. you don't pick up, like, I sometimes get feelings, you get feelings, you don't tend to get like that. Do you? I know, when it's just me and you right? You pick up on an energy, energy sometimes, but yeah. you know, yeah, I think you, you don't feel it. Yeah, yeah. I think you can walk in a room and like say, yeah. you think, oh, someone's had an argument or it's a negative yeah. or positive, but I think. Maybe that comes just to a lot of people, mm -hmm. maybe naturally. But that's what I mean, I think anybody, anybody can sense it, you've just got to be open to it. Yeah. You've got to be open yeah. to it. Yeah, and then is it that these psychic mediums and that, they, they can just channel themselves even more than... Takes yeah, they reckon it takes practice. practice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no it does, and to be fair, they'll always be learning, you, everyone always is. Okay, so I was at work and I clean for people. And this house that I was in this certain day, I have been there so many times. I used to work there years ago cleaning and then I left to do photography and then obviously lost, lost my photography business during COVID. And last year I went back to cleaning. Yeah. Last year I went back to cleaning and um, yeah, this this lady's house. I love her house. It's it's an old it's a cottage, but it, it's huge mm -hmm. and it's gorgeous. And I love it so much. But what I makes like, it a cottage? Huh? What makes it a cottage and not a house? 
you have to look at it as a cottage. It's a definite cottage. I don't know how to explain it. But you, you know what I mean? Stop it! No, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. She always does this. She yeah. always like, what's the difference between a cottage and a house? Well, cottages are quite quaint. I thought cottages was originally meant to be that they had a thatched roof. Yeah. Has it got a thatched roof? No. It's not a cottage. <laughs> She lives in a house. Stop this lady. She house. lives in this house, right? It's a funny old thing, though. There is. No, I know. She's Googling it. Yeah! It's down to factors such as size, location, architectural style, and the lifestyle they represent. Cottages are typically smaller with a distinct charm and coziness. It is a cottage. <coughs> but it's had an extension. So does it now a house? It's a house. Right. It's too big to be gone. She's got a lovely home. <laughs> a bone. I, I love going there, I love cleaning there, it is gorgeous. <coughs> now, I have never, it's a very old place, mm. very old. In mm. fact, there's some lamps in a living room and I've commented on these lamps because I was, every time I go in there to dust, I look at them and I'm like, oh my god, they're gorgeous. So I asked her one day, I was like, where did you get the lamps? Because I love them, they're really old, worldy. And she was like, oh, they were in the house when we got here. I was like, oh my God, they're amazing. Like, they're mm -hmm. really old. And I think there's other things in the house as well that um, were original to the house. But <clears throat> there's just one corridor and it's, it's the landing upstairs and it makes me feel uncomfortable, but I know why it does. It's because it's dark. Right. That's that's why I feel uncomfortable. And the bathroom is at the end of that corridor, so I have to go right to the bottom of it to go to the bathroom to clean it. And I always shut the door because I don't like seeing the landing. I've never seen anything, never felt anything, because I can distinguish whether it's the dark that's scaring me or whether something's there. Do you know what I mean? I can separate it and I know now. And it's definitely because it's dark. We all know I don't like the dark, apart from you. You're that new face, if you would subscribe yet. I'm scared of the dark. Anyway, I was there last week. and she doesn't know the story. You're going to think I'm weird. Not do anyway. <laughs> Bob's still here. <laughs> weird is good. You're not weird. <laughs> she married one. <laughs> love weird. But I went upstairs onto the land that I don't like. But oh, I, it was okay because she had all the bedroom doors open, so there was so lots of light. There was the lots of light filtering in on the landing, so I was like, oh, I quite liked it. It was fine. And the first bedroom to the left is her bedroom. And as I was walking past it, I saw a lady. I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> I saw a lady in a navy dress, and she was like that, looking at this dresser. You know, like your chest of drawers. Mm. And you have told me this. You are, oh, you was there. You was there. Alright, well, well I'll tell these guys then. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear it again. <laughs> there was a lady in a navy dress, and yeah, she was bent over this chest of drawers at the far end of the bedroom. This is what I was seeing at the corner of my eye. I stopped, stepped back, looked, and at this point, I was trying to find a dressing gown that was navy or a, there was nothing dark nothing was there and i was like okay i can't understand why i've seen this but it was a lady it was a lady a very old lady i carried on to the bathroom didn't make me feel uncomfortable i was absolutely fine and then i cleaned the bathroom and then did whatever else I did, I can't even think, just did my normal. And then I said to her, I'm gonna go dust upstairs because I haven't dusted upstairs for a while. First thing I did was go straight into her room to that chest of drawers. And there was a picture of the lady's mum with a navy dress on. <laughs> but it did have little flowers on. Right. But it was navy. Mm. And I was like, no. Well, but it didn't look like her. She was a lot older than in this picture. Yeah, but that could have been because the picture was taken years. years before. Oh, yes. It doesn't mean that that's. It, 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 yeah, I know. Or was it. Was she looking at herself then? You think she was looking yeah, at the picture that, of yeah, herself? Yeah, she was look, crouched like this, mm. looking on top of the chest of drawers, 
So I went straight when I got into Wait, the room. I wanted you think to think she's looking at. And it was it, the yeah. Mm. So she's probably looking and thinking, wow. Well, what's oh, going on? Was quite, quite an attractive well, woman. Then it was a picture of her and her mom. So was she looking at her daughter? It was really mm. bizarre. And then I went downstairs. In the she got the kitchen. It's gorgeous. It's proper cottagey. And then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not Howden's, Robin special. <laughs> it's probably <Henry. laughs> And then you go down this corridor into a garden room. Oh, it's so fancy. But when you go down the corridor to the garden room, there's glass, just glass. Mm. And you can see into the back garden. I was walking down because before you go into the garden room, you turn left and there's the downstairs bathroom. So I went in there to clean because every time I go, the first thing I do is clean both the bathrooms because they get a bit, don't they? Mm. Even though it's just her there, bathrooms get a bit. <clears throat> and I go once a fortnight, so they definitely need to do it. Mm. So I was going to the bathroom, went down the corridor, and at the corner of my eye, again, in the garden, I just saw a white dress. So I naturally looked and there was, I thought, we moved washing. No, there wasn't any washing out, there was nothing, there wasn't even a white rose bush, there was nothing that I could say it could have been that. I, I can't explain it, and it was like a lady. And then I was in the kitchen, and obviously I said that there's a hall from the kitchen to the garden room, well opposite there is a door into the dining room. The white dress was there in the doorway, like quite close to me, again, there was nothing there to make me think oh it could have been that. Uh, like I've said, I've been to this lady's house so many times. I have never seen anything, thought I'd seen anything. Um, her husband died, bless him. I loved him to bits. He drove me to our wedding. Mm. He drove me in a really posh car. Yeah. And he was like, can I do it? And he wore a chauffeur hat and everything. Oh. He was honestly, I loved him to bits. And I've never thought, oh, I wonder if he's here. I've never felt him there. Nothing like that. I've never seen anything. So why did I see that? Both of them on the same day. Why? You right? Can you not smell a really horrible smell? No. No. I need a drink. Mm. Is everyone thinking it's their breath? Might be. No, don't be. <laughs> <don't laughs> <be. laughs> yeah, so I, don't, I can't explain. I can't. I, we When we're out, we try and debunk what we hear, what we see. Like I said in previous video, some you know sometimes we say I can't explain that mm. I can't I can't explain that I don't know what that was and this is one of them situations I don't know what I saw well I do you do but you don't know, why, don't know why I don't know why it was but then you question yourself was it was it nothing what but times, I know what I saw what times of day what is it like are you there in the morning or? in the morning see it could be um, but I've never seen it before I've been there countless. Well, I was going to say it could be residual, like... Yeah, it's every... It, you, I used to go on a Tuesday before my photography, mm. but I now go on a Wednesday every other week. But obviously, like I said, I've never seen anything before anyway, so that wouldn't matter. Mm. It's very strange. Yeah, I wanted to let you know the experience because we document and I know you guys are interested in... Bob. Yeah. I have. Don't have they did. But there no doors. No, there's no doors in there. Weird. But um, yeah, again, if you've got any stories, send them in. Lovely lady that sent her story in, send more. <laughs> and let us know about mediums a bit more. Um, mm. Let us know. We, we find everything, well, everything interesting, don't we? I'd rather it from, from a person than Google. Yes, yes. Tell us yes, your opinion on them. I think that's interesting as well. What's yeah. that? On mediumship and things like that. Other people's opinions of of yeah. it and what they mm. sort of think and that. Yeah. Yeah. We're interested in all that sort of palaver. Yes. We love it. We absolutely love it. But yeah, we're gonna go. Thank you so much for listening to me rant about what I saw. Thank you so much, lovely lady, for sending your story in. And uh You. Yeah, you subscribe. subscribe. You still sat there though. Yeah. Watch the whole thing. I know well click just click it. Oh, you know, oh, I know. You do. Yeah, well, you <coughs> you might as well. I think he's watched three or four mm. different videos actually. Yeah. Mm. Just subscribe. Go on. But yeah, we're gonna go. Thank you for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video, but until then, sleep tight. Bye. Bye.